I'm a little butterfly, so this video is going to be my March TBR. So, honestly, I haven't really been making TBRs. Like, I've kind of just been mood reading, just kind of like whatever I'm in the mood for. But this month, I specifically had books that I want to read. Well, first, because I don't have it in my hand. But first, what I'm currently reading is Lore by Alexander Bracken. I want to finish that. Uh, this first week I only have like 100 pages left but I just want to finish that and get it out the way so I can start on my TBR. I've been reading that since February and I kind of have backed away from it. Not because it's bad it's just like I don't know what the fuck is about to happen next. It's only 100 pages left. There's a lot of shit that needs some explaining. It's, it's just it's just a lot. Okay <laughs> and um, I'm just I'm getting anxiety like reader's anxiety over this. <laughs> so I kind of just I look at it, I'm like, I need to finish this, but I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's coming around the corner, so I'm going to just leave it. So that, I want to finish that this first week, first thing, before I even start my TBR. And just real quick about lore, if you don't know what lore is about, lore is kind of, it's a like a Greek mythology retelling, YA. It's a lot of shit going on, it's a lot of action, it's a lot of gory scenes, and I like it. So I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going to go in these last hundred pages, I'm excited to finish it, so yeah. Um, into my March TBR. I only have four books that I 100% want to get through this month. Um, two of them are library books. One of them is an audio book from Libro, a Libro FM. Um, and then one is my own personal book, but it's poetry. Um, so I'm going to start with my library books that I want to read for sure because um, I need to finish them so I can bring them back to the library. Um, one of them is Queen of the Conquered by Kaysen Calendar and I heard about this on booktube a, a long time ago and I heard about it from Naya from Naya Reads and Smiles and I'm excited because this is kind of like an islander bloody gory uh, revenge kingdomish takeover kind of fucking book like that's the best way I can describe it and there are ways to describe it better but that is the best that I have and I'm excited to read this I actually checked this out from the library before COVID started happening like like so it was 2019 and then I never got to it so I bought it back because I didn't want to just hold on to it and I wasn't reading it so I checked it back out and I want to fucking <laughs> read it this time around I am going to read it and I just don't want to read it so um, I can't wait to read this because I have heard great things about it. I haven't heard anything recently because it is a, a kind of an older book. It's not anything new, but I've heard great things about it. Then my second and last library book that I have is a new release. And I was excited that my library even had it because I was just like, they're not going to have nothing that just came out. Um, that's going to take a while for them to get that. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> um, it's love is a Revo love is a revolution by renee watson this book i added on to my february tbr for the black author readathon when i found out the library had it and then i just didn't get to it so i'm gonna get to this one so i can bring it back to the library so i'm not holding on and somebody else can read the greatness that is renee watson um renee watson co-wrote watch us rise with Ellen Hagen and I love that book I read that book like two years ago too it was really fucking good I love that book so much I have a review for it so I'm gonna put it down below I'm not sure if I did a video review but I 100% know I did a good reads review so I'm gonna link that down below if I did a video I'll put it in the eye I can't wait for this book so this book follows what is her name I know the boy's name Nyla it follows Nyla who goes to an open mic night and meets this boy named Ty yeah she meets this boy Ty she went to the open night, open mic night with her cousin, sister, friend, um, Imani, and she meets him, and instantly she's in love, love at first sight. You know how it is when you're young, you see me like, I like him, I want that. That's what she got. Well, she decides that, well, they are two very much different people. He's an activist, and she, and he does stuff for the community. She much rather would stay at home, watch TV, go get ice cream, you know that kind of stuff. Well, when she finds out that that's the kind of guy that he is, she starts telling little white lies to impress him. And then, I guess he's telling little white lies too. And then little white lies turn into big lies. So then, they just have these big lies with each other. The stories about her um, going through that relationship with him. And then still trying to keep a relationship with her cousin, Imani. It's just, it's going to be... 
I think it's gonna be a lot of drama because all of these lies are gonna start coming to light and then she's battling that relationship with her relationship with her cousin it's just it's, I feel like this is gonna be a lot of shit going on and I can't wait I haven't watched anybody reviews for this book I hear people talk about it a lot on um, booktube as in oh this is what I want to read or oh this just came out from Renee Watson I'm excited for it but I have not watched one person review for this book and I think I'm gonna keep it that way until after I read it because I'm excited for this book and from what I've read from Renee Watson already I already love her as an author so I'm excited to read this book so then my physical book that I have that I want to read that's also a collection of poetry is Helium by Rudy Francisco which um, I don't know if he necessarily just started out as a YouTuber, but that's how I was introduced to Rudy Francisco. I was find I was trying to find a um, poetry videos to watch and, and uh, people doing spoken word and just poets. So and I ended up running into him. Watching his videos was the first time that I actually seen like a poet or do poetry the way he did like that was the first time I experienced it and I loved it so I've, I've been a Rudy Francisco fan for God knows how long I think I found him in like high school I've been a Rudy Francisco fan for a long time but this is his first collection of poetry that I'm going to read from him he has another collection of poetry I believe but this is the first one that I'm going to read from him so I'm excited I think it's going to be great I have high expectations for him already then the last book that I have which is an audio book and I could do that on the way to work while I'm reading another one of these books and um, it's because it's a pretty short audio book is um, Sea Witch by Sarah Henning um, I'm excited for this one because I heard a lot about this book um, on booktube I, if I'm if I'm wrong correct me but I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard people saying that this is like a retelling for Ursula which I'm completely fine with that because as an adult I have come to love the Disney villains like anybody else feel like as as a child you hated them and you was like they're so mean my why they like this and I, as an adult you get it and you like you know what she she right she's justified in the way she feel like that's how I am with villains now <laughs> so like I've never the only villain backstories that I've actually seen or read about was of course Maleficent um Joker <sighs> they had one more and I was like I fucking get it I'd be the same way damn it there's one more I want more villain backstories like that's why I want more stories for villains because I feel like they're so much understood <laughs> and as an adult I want hundreds to get all of their feelings all of their rage all their festivity I get it so I'm excited for Sea Rich I think it's gonna be an interesting audiobook though like I'm I'm interested if that makes that makes sense which it don't <laughs> but um so yeah that is all the books that I have for my March TBR as of now again I still mood read um I think I want to get to this graphic novel well comic that I have had on my Kindle since it released which is um The Last Ronin the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I'm excited I still have to read it no I haven't no I haven't read it yet but <laughs> Um, that's I think I want to do that this month too. I've been kind of reading gra if I don't read anything else I've been reading graphic novels and comics so I for sure gonna read probably read that this month because I kind of use that for when I start to get kind of bored or kind of really lax with the reading I'll pick up a graphic novel because it's something really short that I read in one sitting so yeah that might be yeah that might be on my list <laughs> that might end up being in my wrap up this month so yeah um is that everything yeah those are all of the books that i have for my march tbr as of right now um again my rapper might come and i might have books added on to it but those four five really are for sure the books that i want to read this month and get them off my reading list so yeah thank you for watching my videos this is my spirit animal don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye Fuck it up, ah, 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 let's go, ah, throw that ass in the circle, ah, throw that ass in the circle.